Hey, and welcome back to an episode of Willis Talk. I'm keeping it a little quiet because we're in a great big echo chamber here at the Salem Fairgrounds. And uh, as you can see, it's really special. And to explain a little bit more about how special it is, we have someone that's operating this. Hi, how you doing? Good. Uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm how Judy you? James, and I am the president of the Pacific Northwest Scent Work Club. We are an American Kennel Club licensed club to hold scent work events, and uh, we operate here locally, uh, here and in Portland. Okay. And what for our guests that don't know what scent work is, what, what kind of scent work does okay. these dogs do? Well, canine scent work is based on the things that police dogs do. Only we look for little Q-tips that have a drop of essential oil in it. Um, and that is what they are trained to find instead of looking for drugs or something. Ah. From the dog's point of view, it is something they do naturally, something that that is unique to dogs in that their, their senses and ability to smell something is huge. They have, some of the dogs have more than a million scent cells in their noses. They have the ability to discriminate all kinds of odors. Once they understand that that owner gets them rewards, then they are quite willing to go and look for it and continue to look for it throughout their lives. Nice. As a dog's first sense is their sense of smell. It is also their last sense. So we see a lot of dogs that are retired from other things that they used to do with their owners still competing here because it's low key, um, they do it at their own pace, and old dogs think it's wonderful. Nice. So it doesn't take much other than a love for a dog and time and patience. Time and patience. Now how would anybody really actually get a hold of you if they wanted to maybe bring their dog and start well, Participating. We, we do have a website. It's specific or PNW Scent Work Club. Um, they can also look on the American Kennel Club site for clubs that offer this this thing and training for it. Nice. It's become very popular, and you find a lot of opportunities now in the community to train to do this. That is really good. And it's, we're training the own, the owner more than we're training the dog. Really. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is doing something that comes naturally to them. The trick is getting the owner to see the changes in their body behavior that says, oh, they're on odor. Yeah. Now, what are these special ones that caught my well, eye? Well, what you caught for? here, this is the highest um, and most difficult award you can get um, in AKC scent work is a master level title. We run four different levels of complexity. There's the novice where people, everybody begins. Then there is advanced, excellent, and master. Ooh. To achieve a master level title, you have to gone through all of those, earning titles. And the final title, you're going to have to, there are four different elements that we use. One is called buried, where the dog's looking for the odor in sand or water. Wow. There's interior searches where they're looking inside a building. There's exterior searches where they're looking somewhere outside the building. Um, and then there are container searches where they're looking in an assortment of containers. Nice. Now that definitely is master level. Yes. Here's a cutie. That is yeah. a Welsh Corky. Any kind. There is a lot outside that are sniffing. And I've heard a few sounds, if you remember the first bark. Well, I and my audience, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And stay tuned for another exciting episode of Willis Talk that may have something just for you.